Welcome back to the channel. So I just got done watching this movie called Out of Love by John, John Ryan Sugimoto or Sugimoto. Sugimoto? Sugimoto? This movie is starring Bobby Lee and honestly, I've not recapped the movie in a long time, but this one had my gears grinding. So Bobby Lee is this poor guy who's barely getting by and he makes this whole entire spread of the motel for his disgruntled girlfriend. And need I say, she's less than impressed. In fact, she's actually pissed. She argues and argues about last Valentine, this Valentine, where's the money, do you have a job, blah, blah, blah. Apparently, it just looks like she doesn't really like him that much. Eventually, she walks away, so he's sad just stuck in the room by himself. She basically walks out on what's supposed to be a surprise proposal. So he's pacing around the room and he finds a naughty magazine. But this idiot is in love and is about to propose to his disgruntled girlfriend on Valentine's Day. And his first thought is to call a sex worker to come satisfy him after his girlfriend walks out. Okay. Hey everyone, Future Alex here. If you're still watching to this point, thanks for watching. It really means a lot. But while you're here, please consider subscribing. It will mean a lot to the channel and help us keep growing. Thank you. Clearly, he's not the sharpest tool in the toolbox. So he sees a number on the back of this naughty magazine and dials it. Just moments later, this hooker shows up at the door and he lets her in. She sees the entire spread of champagne, strawberries, gross petals, candles, and she knows she has a sucker. So she wants to get paid out the door. She asks for the money, and as soon as he brings the money out, she knows she can press him for more, right? And that's exactly what she does. All of a sudden, the $150 that they quoted him over the phone is going to someone else, apparently. We can clearly see that everything around the situation smells fishy. But again, Bobby is not the sharpest tool, so he takes this sex walker to the ATM. Now on the way back to the hotel, who can guess exactly what happens? Just t take a wild guess. Of course he gets robbed by her pimp. He was waiting outside for them the entire time. The whole plan was to get into the ATM so he can get suckered out, pull out some more money, and get robbed outside. The robbery itself was very hilarious. You gotta watch this part. I mean, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe you. Can I see it? You want to see my gun? Oh, you know, it's sissy, because sissy's like to scream. Are you going to scream? No. No? I mean, all the signs were there, Bobby. All the signs were there. He was already broke at the beginning of this film, so I'm sure this didn't help at all. The poor guy is broken hearted, and now he's broke. You got to pick a struggle, Bobby. Pick a struggle. So anyways, Bobby goes back to his room and does what any self-respecting person who just got robbed did. He dials 911. But no, seriously, you tell me, if you get left by your girlfriend at a hotel when you're planning an elaborate valentine, and then you call a hooker, and then get robbed, do you call the police if that happens to you? Leave your answers in the comment section. I, I'm, I'm legitimately curious. So anyways, the police are dispatching someone over, and he's just sitting down there, and at least there's one silver line at the end of this movie. The pimp forgot to take the ring from him, so shout out to the pimp. I actually didn't see this part coming, but at the end of the whole thing, Bobby's girlfriend actually comes back. I wasn't expecting it because I really thought she just didn't like him that much. But what's more crazy is that when she would have found him in the hotel room with a hooker in the bed drinking the champagne that she was supposed to be drinking. So I guess um, shout out to the hooker and the pimp for robbing him blind. Probably saved his relationship. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Till the next one. Peace.